Not going out tonight? No, I've still got the virus. Oh, yes. Yes, I've forgotten that. The mystery virus. Yes. <laughs> Hasn't stopped you eating. No. And your colour's good. Well, they're the symptoms. A good colour and a healthy appetite. <laughs> then how do you know you've got it? You feel listless. You mean more listless than usual? What's the matter? Can't I be ill for once? Of course. Perhaps you should lie down, Matthew. No, it's more when you're out in the fresh air, you, you begin to tremble. Oh, that must be terrible for an active person. It is, I feel trapped. <laughs> then why you keep looking out of the window? What? Or are you expecting someone? No. Surely your friends must be missing you. Oh, I shouldn't think so. Oh, well, that's where you're wrong. One of them came tonight when you were in bed. Who was it? He didn't give his name. Well, what did he look like? Small, thin-faced. Insignificant, really. Oh, yes, there was something different about him. He had a pair of chopsticks in his top pocket. <laughs> That's Ratty. Ratty Randall. He's very partial to Chinese food. Always carries his own chopsticks. Huh? His own personal chopsticks? Mm. Ooh, that's very stylish, Matthew. Well, well, what did he want? Well, he just wanted to know what had happened to you. I told him you hadn't been out since Monday. Sunday? <laughs> Thought you went out on Monday? No, Sunday, Dad. But well, didn't you go to the fair? I don't like fairs. Well, where were you? Why? Well, Ratty wanted you to know. I told him you were down the fair. Oh, no, no! Well, never mind. He said he'd pop back later. You'd be able to set the record straight. I won't, because I'm going to bed. I'm not seeing anyone. <laughs> what is it, Matthew? What? Anyone would think you were expecting the black spot. <laughs> Who's coming next, Blind Pew? Look, I want to know where you were on Monday. Oh. I was with Cherry Gibson at the fair. Well, why the secrecy? She's Bateman's girl. He was at the Tech and she was on her own. Who's Bateman? ABA regional finalist. That's who <laughs> Bateman is. Oh, yes. Yes, I knew his dad. He was pretty good with the gloves, too. And you went with his girl? <laughs> you just don't care, do you, Matthew? The last bloke with his nose broken. The word is, if you don't want to fight Bateman, keep away from Cherry Gibson. Well, why didn't you? It wasn't my idea. She wouldn't leave me alone. She's always fancied me. And whatever Bateman thinks, this is all her fault. Well, perhaps she'll fight him. <laughs> all I did was take her on the space rocket, buy her some candy floss and win her a doll. All you did? It sounds as if you made a night of it. And I suppose someone saw you. Ratty may have done. As we were going round on the space rocket, I'm sure I saw the glint of his chopsticks in the crowd. <laughs> and will he tell Bateman? Will he tell him he likes to fight more than Bateman? Well, if you take my advice, you'll see Bateman. Tell him there was nothing in it. I walked her home, Dad. Oh, right, yeah, you walked her home, keeping a brotherly eye on her. She kissed me. <laughs> what? Well, there's nothing I could do about it. Well, couldn't you have fought her off? No. I was carrying a doll, two sticks of candy floss and a coconut. <laughs> you see. So, what we've got here, Matthew, technically speaking, it's a nose-breaking situation. <laughs> yeah. The last bloke only whistled after her. Well, what are you going to do about it? Well, I thought, well, there's six weeks before I go to college, I don't have to see him. Six weeks? You're not staying walled up here for six weeks. <laughs> what about the wear and tear on the furniture? No, 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 you'll have to get this sorted out. Well, that's probably ratty now. Come down and see him. I'll make a cup of tea. <laughs> Hello, Matthew. Hi. How's the virus? Oh, I can't tell you. Bad as that. Worse. Kept me in all week. Since when? Sunday. I thought I saw you Monday. Not me. Down the fair? No. Your dad said you was there. What? <laughs> oh, yes, well, that's the trouble with this virus. That's what it does to you. Your memory goes. You, you see everything through a haze. I, I, I probably was down there for a while. That's when I began to feel peculiar. Did you act peculiar as well? What do you mean? I thought I saw you hiding behind some candy floss. You look like a man with a pink beard. <laughs> I could have sworn it was you. Well, what could have been? On a space rocket. Space rocket? Uh, I can't remember. I was just trying to keep warm. Were you keeping Cherry Gibson warm, too? No, not me. Well, she was with someone. She's got this doll. Doll? Bateman wants to know where she got it from. He wanted to win her that doll. 
Well, if I find anything out, I'll let him know. I don't envy the bloke. No. I was there the last time. I can still hear the crunch of bun. <laughs> Late moves fast. I know it's fast. With both hands. I know it's fast with both hands. He wants to see you. <laughs> yes, and I want to see him. But I can't get out, not with this virus. I wonder if Cherry Gibson's got it as well. Look, I don't know what you're suggesting, but I wouldn't do that to Bateman. I'm his best mate. Wait a minute. I'm Bateman's best mate. He's always said so. Right, yes. Well, you are Bateman's best mate. But I'm his second best mate. I'll tell him that. I thought you'd like a cup of tea. No, you lads have got a lot to talk about. No, I won't stay. Don't want to tire him. Now you stay, Ratty. What? <laughs> what? What did you call me? What's your name? John. Well, why don't you stay, John? Have a cup of... <laughs> you called me Ratty. Yes, yes. I wonder what made me say that. No one calls me Ratty. No, of course not. It's ridiculous. <laughs> don't look a bit like it. Have a cup of tea. <laughs> No, I better be off. I'm seeing Bateman later. He's very concerned about you, Matthew. Wants to know when you're going to be up and about again. I'll see ya. See ya. See ya, Rat. <laughs> see you, John. <laughs> Why did you have to call him Ratty? Well, you call him Ratty. Not to his face, he hates it. You mix with some very strange people. You better see Bateman tomorrow and get this cleared up. I don't want him hanging around here. Do you think he's still out there? Well, I don't know. Hates being called ratty. Yes. I think I'll put the car away. <laughs> Cherry! What are you doing out there? I didn't want Ratty to see me. Has he gone? Well, yes. Good. Things are bad enough. Are they? Bill suspects. Well, suspects what, Jerry? About you and me. Yes, I thought he may suspect. And I thought what we could say was, uh, I, I saw you home because you were nervous and I wanted to make sure you were safe. Oh, better not mention the walk home. Not after what happened. Nothing happened. <laughs> well, nothing much. It's not what I remember. You went mad, Matthew. Jerry? <laughs> How could I have gone mad? I was carrying a doll, two sticks of candy floss and a coconut. I'm not saying it was my idea. No. It's a boy doll. Is it? I'm going to call it Matthew. Oh, God. <laughs> Mind you, it was the doll that did it. Bill asked where it came from. I said I won it at the fair. He said, tell me another. Then that vein in his temple started to throb. You know what that means? Yes, I know what it means when that vein in his temple starts to throb. There's going to be a bit of bone crunching somewhere. At least you don't scare easy, Matthew. Not like the others. No. Um, perhaps we could say you thought you were being followed and no I just... No one else has dared to kiss me since I've been going out with Bill. Yeah, I wonder why. Passion's a funny thing, isn't it? Yes. I didn't know you felt like that. I don't. I mean, I, I don't know how I feel. You didn't mean it just now when you said nothing much happened. No. I just didn't want it to happen. Your feelings were too strong. Yes. It was a magical night, Jerry. The taste of the candy floss, the throbbing of the generators, the smell of the diesel. We just got carried away. You did mean it. You did like kissing me. Oh, yes. It was one of the nicest experiences I've ever had. But Bill is my best mate. And I'm his second best. I just can't do it to him. Well, he doesn't have to know about it. Unless I tell him. That's true. I mean, if he did know, you'd need a new set of teeth. <laughs> would be a pity. Look, all you have to do is tell Bateman there was nothing but... <laughs> You wouldn't get so agitated. After all, what is the worst that can happen? I'll tell you the worst that can happen. There'll be a fight and I'll get pulverised. <laughs> I mean, apart from that. 
There isn't anything worse than that. Oh, yes, there is, Matthew. There's being afraid. What you have to fear is fear itself. And Bateman. Don't forget Bateman. <laughs> Nothing could be worse than what you're imagining. You're right there. Falling in front of a train would be an improvement on what I'm thinking. <laughs> and you're forgetting something. He's a boxer. No, strangely enough, I haven't forgotten that. <laughs> I mean, it'll be a sporting contest. He'll stand back and let you take a count. Suppose he waits for me to get up again. <laughs> I wouldn't advise that, Matthew. I've seen him <laughs> What's he like? Oh, he's good. He's very good. And he's fast. With both hands. Yes, I've heard that, Dad. But he carries his guard low, leaving his chin exposed. So you might just be able to get in first before he gets into his stride. Wait a minute. We don't want to antagonise him, do we? His hands are lethal weapons. Well, I hope you're not going to...